Hello everyone. Welcome to another Jira administration tutorial from rcvacademy.com. In this tutorial, we are going to talk a bit more about the global permissions in Jira. So I'm logged in as an administrator and let's go to the Jira system admin. Re-enter the password and I'll go to the global permissions. So I'll just start typing global permissions. And in this tutorial, we are going to talk more about the browse users, create shared objects, manage group filter subscriptions. So we have already discussed about Jira system administra administrators, Jira administrators and bulk change. And we have also discussed how this bulk change uh, request or how this bulk change permission can be restored in case a user is having issues. A bit more on that bulk change um, permission is that uh, because bulk change is uh, something very critical uh, and it allows user to bulk delete or bulk, you know, like depending on the permission that you provide. A user in Jira can do bulk edit to thousands of the issues so you have to ensure that you are providing bulk change permission to only a limited number of people in the organization in your production instance so for example at the moment you see Jira software users Jira uh, core users uh, and service test users everyone can do bulk change and they can move issues they can delete issues or they can you know change uh, the fields of the issues in a bulk so if you have um, a jira instance wherein you have like thousands of issues in your organization and if somebody by mistake does this bulk change it will mess up the whole um, jira instance so it's always advisable that you do not provide the bulk change permission to every group of the organization so i'll remove jira users i'll remove jira service test users because bulk change is something which will be more relevant for the um, the project manager or lead level and above and the administrator level as well so i'll just remove all the core users i'll just leave the administrators and jira system admin there and then you can add a group of jira project admin and those uh, any any user who is into the project admin group can be added in the bulk change request as well so that will sort of um, safeguard uh, bulk change issues that might happen or by mistake if someone deletes or um, modifies the issues it will help protect those sort of scenarios now the other thing i want to discuss is about the add permission for anyone group anyone so you can associate uh, the permission uh, global permission to anyone if you choose that um, then so so for example you say browse user permission uh, you want group anyone to have the browse user permission then anyone in the jira instance will be able to the brow uh, to browse users um, from your jira instance i'll delete that uh, the only thing you can't assign to the group anyone is jira system admin and jira administrator if you try to do that it will throw an error the group anyone is not allowed to be added to the permission jira system administrator but apart from that if you want to assign any bulk change or any other permission uh, apart from the uh, from these four permissions browse users create shared objects manage group filter and bulk change you will be allowed to add anyone to these global permissions so you have to be careful uh, when you are assigning the group anyone uh, in adding the global permission now let's go back to the browse users create shared object and manage group filter subscriptions and see what exactly these global permission means and what it looks like so at the moment you can see that bulk change uh, or bulk change permission is only allowed to Jira system administrator and Jira administrators and if we view the user in Jira system admin uh, M Kumar is one of the users 
in the Jira system admin group and he is not part of any other group. So that means if M Kumar logs in into the Jira instance, he shouldn't be able to do manage group filter subscription and create shared object or browse users permission. Uh, however, if any user who is part of the Jira software users would be able to do browse users, create shared object, manage group filter subscription uh, in, in that instance. So let's see who are the users in Jira software users group and we'll pick one. So I'll pick Jay Guyan uh, and show you how it will look like uh, when Jay Guyan logs in and tries to browse user or create shared object or manage group filter subscription. So I log off uh, as an administrator and log in again as Jaguian. Now, once you log in as Jaguian, just go to the issues and search for issues. I have already saved a filter for Jaguian, so you can simply uh, create any sort of filter. So, for example, assigned current user or IT user or Jira software user or even unassigned so and then just uh, save this filter if you click on save as it will save that particular filter and it will be available in the favorite filter list for that particular user so if I open this saved filter which I have already saved previously uh, and go to the details here so if you click on the details you can see that edit permission is available for JQN and she can also do the subscriptions all right so click on subscription she can mention the recipients of this filter so she can say all the zero software users uh, need to get the filter subscription or the email uh, this filter or results of these filter and she can subscribe the users from different groups to this particular filter because she has this permission to um, share the filter with the uh, filter subscription with other recipients the other thing she is able to do is she can edit the permission and she can share this filter with other groups for example she wants to share this filter with the ID users or any other Jira software users she can just select the group and add that particular groups as the viewers or if she wants to add people in the uh, editors group she can either select the project user or group and start typing the user so for example she wants me to be the user who can edit she can add that particular user so that's possible for jqm the other thing she can do is she can share these issues so she can share the filter so because outgoing mail is not configured so I'm not able to see the share option or uh, able to select the users but if the SMTP is configured or outgoing mail is configured then she'll be able to um, you know share it with the other users in the Jira instance however with this enabled the share uh, button enable you can see that she has this access available now if we go back and log in as m kumar then see what happens or what access m kumar has so now i've logged in as m kumar now and just go back to the issues and i'll click on search for issues and i've also saved a filter for m kumar so i'll open this filter and if you click on this detail of this filter now you can see that M Kumar doesn't have access to um, assign this filter to anyone or share this filter with anyone and then even with managing subscription if you click on manage subscription he doesn't have any option to uh, sort of assign it to a particular group or send the uh, results of this particular filter to or email it to any other group so he doesn't have that permission now if you go back you can also see that there is no share option available for M Kumar because he doesn't have any of those permission that we discussed so let me log off and log in as 
administrator again and I'll go to the global permission from the cogwheel now in the global permissions we'll see so we have seen that since M Kumar was part of Jira system administrator and Jira system administrator doesn't have access to manage group filter subscription or create shared object or browse users permission so that is why M Kumar was not able to do any of those actions however because Jay Guyan is part of the Jira software users she is she has access to the um, global permission to manage group filter subscription create shared object and browse filters browse users so she was able to access all those uh, uh, all those operations in the jira so that's pretty much all about the remaining uh, browse users create shared objects and manage group filter subscription global permissions in jira hope you like the video Please do share and subscribe and thank you for watching.